All right, now we're going to go through how we create an exploded view drawing. First thing we do is click New Standard IPN. Then we want to place our assembly into it. So when you come here, you look for your assembly, you figure out which one you want, you click Open, OK, and it puts it in. Now the next step is to begin to tweak the components. When you click tweak the components, you've got to come in and tell it which components it is you want to tweak. You can do this a couple different ways. You can come over here and click on the components, or you can click them from over here. I'm going to do it from this side. Click, click, click. Then I'm going to choose the direction that I want it to go. My computer is going a little bit slow right now. And so when I ho hover over the direction, notice I'm wanting to move in the Z. So I'm going to be real careful to make sure that my Z is pointing up. Once I have it where my Z is pointing up, I'm going to click and I'm going to drag this whole thing up. and so we've now seen that I've taken this off. When I'm ready to grab a new component I click clear. I know that it doesn't make a lot of sense. A lot of us are prone to want to click close but if you click clear it'll do a new one. Now for this one piece that I want to move all I have to do is click on it and drag it up. Then I hit clear. Then I click on this one and I drag it over and I hit clear. I can rotate my view and I can click on this one. Oh, it went back to components. I click direction. See how that switched on me? It went from Z to X being down. I want to move so that it's Z pointed down. Click, then I pull it down and I'm going to go all the way around my object pulling this apart until I can see every pre piece individually. Once I've done that, I'll hit clear after each one and then close. Now when I hit animate, you're going to see this slowly put itself back together. And this is how you create the 3D animated view. This is neat, but what we're interested in this time is taking this and turning it into a working drawing where we can label the parts. So now we're ready to come in and click New, and we want a standard IDW. For this one, because of the size of the work we're doing, you can leave it as a sheet. Now I'm going to right click, delete, and actually you should add this as a new sheet to the working drawings you're already having. That way you can put in the project lead the way title block that you created earlier. We click base and then I'm going to come over here and I want to find my IPN. So I'm going to say I want to see all inventor files and right here I forgot to save it. That's why I can't find it. Right here I hit save and we're going to call it Quinn House LFL 3 since it's the third time I've done it today. Now when I click base we can come in here and find LFL 3 which is supposed to be an IPN. There it is. I say open and you see how I put it on here and you can see the pieces are spread out. That's great but I want to see it from a view that looks and makes sense and so I'm doing ISO right. You see that one tenth is a little bit small so I'm going to try I'm meant to try one eighth. My number lock was off. Let's try that again. One eighth. Still a little bit small. I'm going to try one fourth. That one might work. It's a pretty big drawing. Kind of depends. If one fourth doesn't work, I can try and do one six. So now I have this drawing here. And I'm ready to create what's called a bill of materials. 
So I come up to annotate and I click parts list and this is wonderful. When I click on this, here's the file that I'm using. I click OK and I click OK and it creates this little box for me that has all the parts that I have made and their names. So now when I'm going through my working drawing, I'll know what each of these are. The next step though is to identify them over here. So when I click balloon and I click here, in the old days you would have to know which part that was. You'd go back through your drawings and find it. You guys are fortunate enough that it knows 13 is the top trim long and that I need two pieces for this. I click balloon, I come here and I see that this is also 13. Now this one is not going to operate like dimensioning. I want you to dimension to bubble every piece so it's very clear what goes where. This is just like creating your own assembly for one of those dressers you buy at Target or Walmart. And you just go through and it'll automatically number them all for you.